When I was younger, I used to live my life in such a terrible manner, such a terrible way, and I didn't realize all the things that I was doing wrong in my life. And I wondered why day after day I felt so depressed. I had no energy. I didn't love who I was. I hated myself, and I just wanted something to change. But it wasn't until I finally took action that things started to change for me. In this video, I'm going to list off seven different things that will ruin your life as a young individual, a young teenager, and these seven things that you need to be avoiding in order to have the life that you want, the life that you dream of, in order to become the man that you want to be. To fully understand all of these bad habits that you need to avoid, you need to listen to everything that I'm saying and watch till the end. If you listen to the whole video, leave a comment down below because I'll respond to each and every single comment on my video. But let's get into it now, shall we, gentlemen? The first thing you need to avoid is alcohol and drug addiction, okay? Too many young people that I know nowadays, I know so many people who, who I thought would grow up to be such a proper, nice gentleman that are hooked on drugs, hooked on alcohol, and it's absolutely tearing their life apart to smithereens! It's tearing their life to smithereens. And the problem is alcohol is the number one most damaging drug that there is ever created on this planet. And it's affected more people than any other drug ever has. Yet it's the easiest to acquire. Every single store, every business that you pass while you're driving down the road most likely has alcohol in it. It's terrible and it's asinine and so many people wonder why the world is going to hell today. Yet alcohol is so easy to acquire. Anyone can get it! There are 16-year-old children coming to school with vodka in their water bottles, okay? I would know. I used to date a girl who got expelled for doing that shit. And yeah, I know. It doesn't sound like the charmer, does she, okay? But I was 13. I didn't know any better. This was before I finally took action and took control of my life, which I wish I did earlier, okay? Because if I would have done this earlier, I can't even... I can't even describe to you all how much more success would have came in my life if I decided to take action early. And that's why it's so important to take action right now, okay? Don't wait, because the later that you wait, the more difficult it's gonna become because the responsibilities are gonna stack up. And all of my childhood friends, all the people that I've grown up with texting my phone every week, hey, let's drink our souls out of our fucking body this weekend. No, no. Okay, it is what is destroying people's brain, it's destroying people's lives because they get hooked on this stuff so early in life and they start to rely on these drugs in order to keep them stable. And that just tells you how screwed up these young people's mind are today because they think the only way out is drugs, alcohol. I used to think the same thing. It's simply getting your life together and having a healthy mindset, having a healthy lifestyle. That is going to guarantee you everlasting happiness. Give yourself something to look forward to that's going to make you better instead of looking forward to coming off your job and filling your glass to the top and drinking your damn life life away. Gain some confidence in yourself. Build up a masculine body. Find God. Be true to your religion. Do something that's going to give you an opportunity to look forward to something each and every single day. Look forward to bettering yourself. I'm not saying you can't have a glass of wine or a beer every now and then, but do these things in moderation. Have some self-control. Have some discipline. Stop being so impulsive because it is ruining your life. Too many young people are struggling because they don't have self-control. They're not a man. They don't know what it's like to have the traits of a masculine man. Work on these things. Work on yourself. What kind of life do you want to have? Do you want to be like everybody else? Or do you want to make something of yourself and give yourself a purpose in life and chase after that purpose and set a footprint on this earth? I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I surely hope not. The next thing that you must avoid that is ruining your life is watching the big boy films, adult films, okay? It's frying your brain! It is frying your brain, and people don't even realize it. People, So many people are struggling from erectile dysfunction. I have so many people that call me up, hey, Maddox, I just got with this hot chick, and I couldn't get my wee-wee up. Because you're watching too much of this stuff, whenever you watch these videos of other people getting play and you watch other people get action and you're not the one getting action, it's tricking your brain into thinking that you are when you're not. And it manipulates your brain so bad that the next time you see a girl out in public, instead of being a proper normal gentleman with a healthy mind like, wow, she's gorgeous, what can I do to get to know her better? Your sick little fucking mind is thinking, wow, she's hot, look at the ass on her, what can I do to get 
to get in there. Do you see the difference here? Do you see how unhealthy it is? It completely destroys your ability to feel a legitimate connection with a girl. And I know because I was addicted to this in the past, okay? And it's so bad because you view women as just an object and completely disregarding the fact that they're a gorgeous woman that could come into your life and change you as a person. Not that I'm interested in that kind of stuff right now because anyone under the age of 25 should not have a girlfriend, should not be in a relationship. That's what I believe, okay? Because we have work to do. We have things that we need to get done. We have a life to build. We have success to build and you can't have any distractions when you're doing so. Okay, I wake up, I work out, I come home, make content, read books, work out a little bit more, and I go to sleep. Okay, that's all I do. The next thing that you must avoid that will completely ruin your life is a criminal record. Stay out of trouble. All it's going to do is make you regret your past when you grow older and have children. Okay, because you don't want your kids to live a lifestyle that you lived as a younger lad, okay? Most people don't. That's why so many parents are protective over their children because they don't want them making the same mistakes that they did when they were younger. And you're the only one that controls that. So give your life meaning. Devote yourself to self-improvement each and every single day. Become a better person each and every single day. Change your life. Because I know most people try their hardest to get out of this lifestyle. And here people are that are in this lifestyle that would do anything to trade shoes with the person that's acting as if they're in that lifestyle. They're not. They're not about that life. So do something with your life. Okay? Become better each and every single day. Dedicate yourself to self-improvement. Every day that you wake up, do something to become better. All these little feminine boys with high-pitched voices showing off BB guns on their stories, trying to trying to act like they're gonna go rob somebody or some shit. Okay? It it doesn't make any sense! Get out of that lifestyle. So many young people are digging their graves the more trouble that they get in. And they know they don't want to result in being in all this trouble. They know they don't want it. But yet they care too much about people thinking of them as some higher up individual as, oh, that guy's scary because he has a bunch of guns. That guy's scary because he's he sells weed to little kids, okay? It's... It's sad. It is completely sad. The next thing you need to avoid is committing to the wrong relationship. Committing to the wrong girl, okay? It doesn't matter if she's hot. Who cares how fat her booty is, okay? It doesn't matter. I used to give in to these things, but I learned, okay? Because the ones with the fat booties and the blonde hair are the worst ones to deal with, as a matter of fact. Those are the craziest ones. Most of the time, the hottest ones are the craziest ones, okay? It's how the world just tricks us young men into getting into shit situations, okay? The world decides to trick us sometimes. Don't fall for the trap, okay? If you're in a toxic relationship, because that's the thing with young women nowadays, they enjoy the toxic shit. This is how messed up this generation is, okay? Of young women, not just men, young women, okay? These young girls would prefer, prefer to be in a toxic relationship, argue with their boyfriend, then act out of anger, cheat on their boyfriend, then talk a little bit, make up, then go sleep with their best friend's boyfriend, then argue with their best friend, and then be friends with them again, and then sleep with their boyfriend again. And, and the cycle continues, I've seen it. I've seen it all. I see it every single time I go out, okay? People introduce me to their girlfriends as her ass cheeks are hanging out. Somebody came up to me the very few times that I go out, and that just shows you. I only go out like maybe once every three to four months, and every time I go out, I see it at least ten times. Somebody will come up to me, hey, this is my girlfriend so-and-so. We're getting married next weekend, and, and she, she's seducing everyone around her. And the guy just doesn't, he doesn't realize it because he loves her too much. He's not going to get rid of her because he loves her too much. And I understand we fall in love. I understand, okay? I've been in love before and I've been in love with someone who was terrible for me. Someone who completely destroyed my mental health. I just didn't realize it yet. My mind wasn't matured enough. I didn't have the healthy mindset that I have nowadays. And that's why I'm trying to teach all of you young upcoming people, people younger than me, my age, maybe even older than me, because some people don't even acquire common sense until they're like 30. Be cautious. Be aware. Think about the problem and think about a solution. Sometimes we have to give up things that we love if we really want what's best for us, okay? It's just life. It's how life 
works. And you got to be willing to fight life. You got to be willing to fight for the life that you want. There are so many other women out there. There's so many. There's plenty of fish in the sea, okay? You've heard it all before. And I guarantee you that one girl that you're in love with that's from your hometown, she's not the one for you, okay? So if there's any red flags in a woman and you are aware that there's a red flag, you must get rid of the relationship, okay? Because if you don't early on, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. Whenever you fail to give her a prenup and she refuses to sign the prenup and then next thing you know, you're fucking homeless 50 years from now. That's my recommendation. Get a prenup. You want to know if they really love you? Because if they don't want to sign the prenup, they're literally telling you to your face, I am only dating you because you pay for all of my shit. And I bring this up to older men and they, and they call me stupid. And they're the ones that are at the bar with the beer in their hand because their wife has taken half their shit. I'm young, but I study these situations and I look into them and I study why people's lives get ruined and I study why people hate themselves. I study why people go through mental health and it's all adding up. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure these things out. It's all about your quality of life and the way that you live. That is what is going to determine what your life looks like. If you can master having confidence, self-control, and discipline, you will be successful in life. That There is no and, ifs, or buts. If you master these three things, you will have a successful and happy lifestyle. And the next thing to avoid if you want a successful lifestyle, if you don't want to ruin your life at an early age, is be careful about who you hang around. Choose your friends wisely. I have made this mistake so many times. And I paid the price! I paid the price for it. Okay, I've had people who I thought were my friends and I trusted them and they have completely taken advantage of my trust and made a huge dent, a huge dent in my reputation, in my life. Okay, and it's all for the reaction. People will do anything for a reaction nowadays. You know how the kids fuck with the teacher that they don't like because because she reacts. They like to get a reaction out of her. The one that always shows the biggest reaction is the one that gets picked on the most. And that was me, okay? I was picked on severely in the eighth grade because I made YouTube videos and that was very unusual. It's not normal for people to do that around my age, okay? So people like to make fun of me about it and I would get pissed, okay? I stood up from the classroom and I punched a kid in the side of the head one time because he played my videos out loud in the class and it was embarrassing as shit, okay? Cause I, Cause I was like 13 making those childish videos, okay? And everyone was just sitting there looking at me and I'm just sitting there freaking the fuck out because I don't know what to do. And I got up and I hit the kid on the side of the head and I got suspended for three days, okay? But it was because I gave a reaction each and every single time. But you gotta analyze the people that you're around. You gotta figure them out who they are before you start to give your trust away to these people because these people will turn on you in an instant. They will betray you quicker than the speed of light i promise you okay it doesn't matter if they're in the popular group it doesn't matter if they're the quarterback okay they will betray you be careful with who you hang around because people will ruin your life all it takes is to get in trouble with one group of those friends and then your life can be ruined for the rest of your life be careful who your friends are because they will do anything for an ounce of popularity just an ounce and they will do anything to get this girl that they like to like them back okay they will betray you to get this girl to like them back okay i promise you People are dangerous. People are not reliable. Be careful with who your friends are! Be careful because I've seen so many people's lives get destroyed because they don't choose the right friend. I don't know who's heard this quote. It's not from me, obviously, but show me your friends and I'll show you your future, okay? Choose your friends wisely. Choose people to be around that share the same interests as you. If you want to be a damn millionaire when you grow up, hang around people who strive to be a millionaire as well. If you want to get big and muscular and sexy, 
hang around people who work their ass off in the gym. Because I can tell you right now, the results and the satisfaction of working on yourself each and every single day, achieving goal after goal, becoming better each and every single day, those results and that satisfaction is going to completely overtake the satisfaction of being in the popular group, being the one who can shotgun the beer in the fastest time, being the one who pulls all the girls, okay? I promise you these two do not compare because all of that is gonna go away. Once you leave high school, once you leave college, what are you gonna do then? No one's going to care about you anymore. People have shit to do, okay? But if you wake up and you work on yourself each and every single day, become the person you want to be, strive for your goals. Strive for your goals. Make a bucket list. Make a chart. Scratch off each goal that you've accomplished and don't stop until you accomplish every single goal and get the life that you want. You're looking forward to something each and every single day. But if you, if you want to stay sucked into this popular drinking hot girl lifestyle being the popular kid that's all going to go away and then once it leaves you're just going to be the same miserable individual as everybody else you go to work hating your job you come home and you drink your life away okay and that is the scariest thing that is the scariest thought to me of being being someone who hates their life hates who they are hooked on alcohol hooked on drugs Okay, it's, it's, it's terrifying to me. What are you going to do? Are you going to be like everybody else? Or are you going to make something of yourself? Are you going to be the one that people talk about? The one that people look up to? Which one are you going to choose? The final thing that you need to avoid in order to have a successful life and to not ruin your life at a young age is stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your time on these things that are not going to benefit you, not going to improve you, okay? Whenever I was younger, I always hated school. I've hated school my entire life. I couldn't stand it. So what I would do is I would go walk into class and I would either be the class clown and disrupt, do whatever I can to get out of class, get in trouble so I didn't have to sit in class because I found it funny, I found it entertaining. Getting in trouble was fun for me because it was better than learning a bunch of nonsense. All I would do is sleep, sleep, sleep. I would stay up all night playing video games or something because I was a little kid and I would sleep during class. That was my sleeping hours during class and I always got in trouble for it. But ever since I was a little boy, I could not stand, I could not stand doing something that I knew was a waste of time, that I knew wouldn't benefit me. And to other people, people didn't think that school was a waste of time because they were told growing up, oh, pass this class, you gotta pass this test on this completely fictional, made up fucking fairy tale if you wanna be successful in life. It makes complete sense. And I couldn't stand it. I refused to give my time away to something that was a complete waste of my time. So when you put in too much effort and too much time into something that's not going to benefit you or make you better, it is a waste of time. You're putting in, it's literally like throwing your time into a trash can. That's exactly what it is. Things that you need to be focused on are the things that are going to improve you, improve your life. Okay? Stop putting in so much time and effort on these things that don't matter. Put your time into working out, building your masculine body. Put your time into reading informative books, not fucking fairy tales that they throw on your desk in school. Okay? Read informative books. Double your IQ. Okay? Build confidence for yourself. Fix, fix your insecurities. Improve your life. Okay? The young, strong gentlemen that we need are vanishing. They're dying. They're endangered. Okay? We are at risk. It is our job as young men to keep the strong, young, masculine men alive in this world because the world is going to hell right now. So ladies and gentlemen, avoid these things. Take control of your life. Become the person that you want to be! It's up to you! It is up to you, nobody else. It's all on you. Do you want to be like everybody else and hate your life and suffer from anxiety, depression, all these mental health issues? Or do you want to get up and do you want to make something of yourself? And do you want to leave a footprint on this earth? It's up to you. I believe in each and every single one of you. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.